I'm going to let you know my least favorite thing about the aquarium hobby is when you clean off your glass and then your arowana jumps up and splashes water out and then you get water streaks so you got to clean it again. Unreal. I'm going to show you all of the tanks today. First off, the 40 gallon. Alright y'all, this is the 40 gallon, got axolotls in it, for y'all who don't know what an axolotl is, this is an axolotl, it's a lizard, newt, I call them lizards, they're really newts though, and they got external gills, you see, right here, you see those things sticking out, protruding, those are the external gills, so they can really only be with other axolotls, most people say they need to be by themselves, but that's simply not true. We have this axolotl and three others in this tank. The other three still happen to be in the fridge, but that's another video. So let's check this out. The bottle in there, we turn that into ice to keep the water cold. They like their water under 60 degrees or about 60 degrees. And just so you know, the soccer water freezes clear. Little fun fact. On to the next tank, y'all. Here's the five gallon. Got a couple of guppies. An endler. A couple of platies. I think there's two platies and like six guppies. And a female koi beta. We have other betas as well, but this one just seems to be a little bit too feisty to be with the other betas. Some live plants, some wild plants actually, as well as the Anubis. We got some blue mystery snail in there. There's actually a Kuli Loach in there as well, but we are not too sure where he is at the moment. I actually just seen him as we came up, but that's the five gallon. All right, this is the 10 gallon, y'all. This 10 gallon is a beta sorority, actually. We got four quote unquote baby female betas, two platies, and a couple of mystery snails. Oh, three platies, I lied. But as you see, there's the platies out back. They're kind of blue in color, blue and yellow. They're kind of cool. We got this blue female beta here. Let me adjust this light. Oh, it looks green in some lights. That's cool. I haven't seen it look like that. There we go. There she is, a beautiful fish. Let me check this guy out here. See what I'm saying? Not the prettiest of platies, but they're different, and that's what I like about them. Let's see if we can't find the other ones. For everybody that's new to the channel, thanks for showing up. Shout out to that notification gang. Right here, we got two of them. One is red. One, the bigger one is a red one. Let's see if they'll come out. Mm. This lighting, lighting trash. It looks good to the eye, but not with the camera. So I'm sorry for that. But she's purple. Not really too bright in color at the moment. But they're still young. Alright, on to the 15, which is another beta sorority, guys. Let's check that out. Oh, here we go. There they are. There's the blue one and one of the red ones. That's a red uh, crown tail, actually. There we go. Everybody wants to show off a little bit. We'll get some food, but feed these guys. I'm just using some Aquion beta food. That's what I feed them. Always works. Does the job. Throw a few pellets in there real quick for you. Let's see if they'll come out for it. The platies are going to be all over it. There we go. Oh. Axolotls. If you want to know why they're in the fridge, comment down below. Here is the hexagonal 15 gallon sorority. We got three of them right here. 
red one, the blue one. Can't really see with the lighting. Oh, white. Got some blue in there. Got a, a Plico hiding out back there. And the purple one. Purpley blue. There's also two Kuli Loaches in here. A few guppies. One with a spine issue. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There he is. Drop some of the same bit of food in there for him. Multiple betas can live in one tank. That ain't an issue. That's proof. Right here. And here's the 100 gallon. We've seen this tank before. Everybody's getting real big. These guys are getting pretty large. These guys were tiny when I bought them. Actually, the biggest one in here. Right here, I believe. That might be the biggest one right now. Oh, no, there it is. This one. I got that one when it was the size of my pinky nail. This tiny ram's still alive. Can you believe that the golden ram is alive with this monster? Look at it. Getting big. Getting big. I'd say he's about, I don't know, 15 inches now. Sorry about the finger, y'all. This little update there, Angelfish wasn't doing so hot for a little bit. Got his fingers all beaten. Giant pleco down there. Well, yep, that's the tank, guys. The 100 gallon. Doing great. Doing great. Oh, Aaron's about 15 inches long now. He's getting big quick. I love how red he is, but I was really thinking about maybe trading him for an albino silver arowana so let me know in the comments what you think about that thanks for watching everybody make sure you subscribe and hit that notification icon peace